Here now, Utah Congressman Burgess Owens, House Education Committee member. Burgess, good to see you. I, it, it's fascinating we're having this conversation. You know, Glenn Youngkin in Virginia is like, listen, parents have a right to be part of their kids' education and their upbringing, and you have school, bo uh, school boards and unions that think the exact opposite. You're on the Education Committee. Is there something that the committee will do to actually push back on the behalf of parents if uh, you get the majority in November? Sean, and I'll say this, the American people are doing something about it, which is to make sure that we're in control, the Republican Party is in control. We believe in educational freedom. Uh, the, the, the biggest thing for our future is that, that we have a, a young generation that can think, uh, that can uh, articulate themselves. As, as Thomas Jefferson said, uh, ignorant and free can never be. And that's what we're finally seeing. And the parents are the stakeholders. At the bottom line, that's it. And the fact that we've gotten to the point now with state, uh, a state governor, government, believes or, or federal government believes that they, that they, own, they control the kids. It says a lot about, about what we've been up to up, up against for quite a while. So we're getting it back. I think the COVID was a wake up call for all of us. We now see what was behind the curtains. We're not standing for it. Uh, we're going to make sure we get our kids free enough to think, to be successful, to, to prosper. And that can only happen in a country that's free. You know, I think it's a, uh, important to note that there's so many parents uh, across the country that understand that their child's pathway to the middle class, their pathway to success is a good education, knowing how to read, math, science, English. And here in our school systems, you have a focus on equity or CRT or transgenderism, where we're failing the very basics of education and our kids' test scores are going down. No question. And this has been a process for quite a while. If you go back to 2017, you had a study that came out uh, for the state of California that 75% of the black boys in the state of California could not read and write. At the same time, you had zero proficiency in, in uh, districts throughout Baltimore. So are we surprised that we have crime across the board? We have young people who are angry, who cannot think, who are controlled by emotion. This is what the left wants. Understand that at the end of the day, there's an ideology that loves chaos. They want chaos and want misery because that's a strategy for the hard left. The, to get us into the idea of communism and Marxism, understand that's what we're up against. And I tell you, parents waking up now is, is a godsend. We're going to get our country back because we're now standing up. We, we're not too busy all of a sudden to make sure that, uh, that all kids, no matter what zip code they live in, what color they are, can, can live the American dream by thinking through the process. And Burgess, I think it's going to be so hard to change the school systems. I think the unions and a lot of the teachers, the young ones especially, have come out of these woke universities and want to bring those woke ideas now into the classroom. I think it's going to be really hard to change that because that's just you know who these teachers are. I think it's so important that we give parents a right. If you don't like your school, if they're not teaching your kids the basics, they don't match your values, you're able to take them out and take them to a different school. I think the plan out of, out of Arizona to say every, every, every parent gets a voucher for their children to pick a school of their choice that will actually educate their kids and match their values. Sean, you just nailed it. Uh, these guys are tenacious. They're not going to stop. Uh, it, was, it was Horace Mann back in, uh, who actually died uh, 20 years before um, Alexander Bell said, hello, Watson. The, that, that telephone has now turned into our, our, our the remarkable system that we have now with the, the iPhone. That educational system, 170 years old, is the same. You sit in a row, you look at the teacher, you go with the bell. We need to disrupt this system. We need to take away from these, these adults who care more about, these labor unions care more about adults and their progress than our children. We're in the process of doing that through meritocracy. This brings choice, meritocracy to the educational system like we've done to everything else we do. And I tell you, my, our kids win, our country wins. And those who do not want to, to have our kids uh, progress will end up going out of business because no parent wants to put their child in that type of educational system. You know, Burgess Owens, always so smart. I want to thank you for joining me and thanks for fighting for our kids. We're all grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sean. All Appreciate right. it. We'll be right back.